Welcome back students. This is your Chandrasekhar Rutukuri. I am going to work out for you all the course finite element method. So, the finite element analysis for mechanical, civil as well as aeronautical engineers. In today's video, I am going to work out for you the, per, the trusses and the analysis of trusses. I am going to let you know what exactly is a truss is. A truss is a structural member constructed by number of bars and L angles and are connected each other firmly at their ends by means of bolts and rivets. Dear students, hope you have seen the trusses in uh, the, uh, the construction of building roofs as well as railway bridges for the support, is not it? It is mainly used to uh, sustain the load of the building roof as well as the railway bridges. If you look here, a truss is a structural member. It is a structural member constructed by the bars. These are nothing but what dear students? These are nothing but the bars and they are connected each other. These they are connected each other with the help of the bolts or the rivets. It may be a temporary joint or it may be a permanent joint. Getting dear students, this is nothing but a truss or the structure which I have kept on the paper here. The truss elements such as bars or angles transmit force only and they cannot move individually or relative to each other. What I mean to say here is that this is a truss element, is not it? I consider this part, it is not going to move, it only transmit what? The forces, it only transmit the forces but it is not going to move relatively to each other. They are not going to move as they are being fixed in such a way that with the help of the bolts and rivets they are not going to move. They can transmit only the force dear students. The truss is mainly employed to sustain the load of the building roof and railway bridges. You might have seen for a support of the building roof as well as the bridges or in some cases you will be having the structure like this. This is nothing but a truss element dear students. The truss element can resist only axial forces that means either compressive or tensile. This is very important for you to write in the short question and you are going to gain knowledge uh, with the help of the truss you are going to work out the derivations in the coming class and can deform only in the axial direction. It will not be able to carry transverse loads or the bending moment. What I am going to tell you here is that the truss element is uh, going to resist only the axial force. For example, let us take this as the element 1. I have node 1 here. It is going to have the forces only in the x direction as well as the y direction only. They can deform only in this axial direction along with the axis I mean to say. That means that may be tensile and that may be compressive forces. Tensile forces as well as the compressive forces only dear student. That may be the tensile force or that may be the compressive forces only in the axial direction and there is no bending of this there won't be any bending movement taking place within the truss these are the points to be noted dear student this is all about the 2d truss isn't it 2d truss is nothing but otherwise called as what plane truss or the planar truss where each of the nodes each of the nodes have two components of the displacement along x axis along y axis. If you take into consideration here I have node 5 here also it is nothing but planar truss it is along the x axis and the y axis. This is all about the, the definition as well as the, uh, the load carrying as well as the where it is going to work out with the uh, x and y axis the stresses like compressive and tensile and there won't be any, any bending movement and they are being fixed with the help of bolts and rivets. This is the definition of a truss dear students if it is asked you are supposed to work out like this along with the diagram and the forces are also acting at certain nodes here. Hope you are going to like my videos. In the next video, I am going to walk out for you the very important derivation related to truss. That means a stiffness relation for a truss and the problems also being worked out in the coming classes. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do it immediately as well as share this content with your friends too. Good luck dear students. Thank you.